Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. I'm going to start a new series about building estimation. And uh, from that video, I will try to cover all kinds of uh, frame or slab with brick wall calculation. And after that, I will give you two Excel file so that you can find out your materials quantity easily by using that. And uh, in my last lecture, I will try to cover a full building estimation by using an Excel file. So I think this series will be very interesting for us. So let's start. Here is our data and uh, from here we will calculate our brick work calculation and uh, in this lecture I am going to cover about brick work calculation. Here uh, brick work calculation. So I have make that uh, equation in MathCAD and here I will show the manual calculation so first of all I will consider in this video for 10 inch brick wall so for 10 inch brick wall means okay so here if we go here that our wall thickness are 10 inch and here and the height of our wall I mean floor to floor height from suppose there is a Top, uh, top floor and there is a bottom floor so here floor to floor height are A so here we have considered that that height is 10 feet and length of our wall uh, suppose uh, from starting point to in point of the wall here we have considered that is 10 uh, I will increase that here I'll consider that it's 100 feet for 100 feet wall and for 10 inch thickness for 10 inch thickness height is 10 feet and our length of the wall is 100 feet so First of all, we will calculate total volume, height into length into thickness. So 10 into 100, sorry, we have calculated here. First of all, our area, wall area, so B into A, it's 100, sorry, 1000 square feet. So for all 1000 um, square feet, our thickness was 10, 10 inch so for 10 inch thickness we will find out our volume here our volume will be BL into T I mean for length height and thickness so B sorry A is in feet L in feet so 10 into 100 into T so T in inch so we have to divide it that by 12 so our uh, the value will be like that for that equation it's 10 into 100 into 10 divided by 12 
after that we have found that value so after that this is our total volume of that wall with respect to 10 inch wall so after that if we go down um, it is that if we go down here total this, this is a total volume so that is a total volume and after that volume of on brick so we have to cover the total volume by our brick so according to our country our brick size these are brick size with mortar With mortar this is our brick size 10 inch into 5 inch into 3 inch this is our standard brick size with mortar so if we find out its area it's 10 by 12 5 by 12 and 3 by 12 equal to 0 0.08688 sorry 68056 feet cube so this is the volume of on brick this is the volume of on brick with mortar so if we divide our total volume by one brick volume then we will find out our total required of our brick so BN I mean number of brick so we have to divide the total volume V by VV volume of on brick then we have found here our requirement of brick it's 9600 nongs so we need 9600 nongs brick for calculating here 10 inch wall of 10 feet height and 100 feet long after that we'll calculate for sand and cement so now we will find out our requirement of sand and cement for our brick work. So here consider our sand is to sorry cement is to sorry I have done a mistake here. It's It's cement and it's sand. Sand. So here I have considered cement equal to A and sand equal to B for my calculation purpose at this uh, nothing. So here you will understand that our sand into cement ratio is 1 is to 5 on is to 5 we have considered that sand and cement calculation for sand and cement calculation we have considered our ratio is 1 is to 5 so after that I have considered tri motor is required 35% of total volume of brick work so we will consider 35% of mortar required for brick work of its total volume so its total volume was V and its 35% is 0 uh, multiple multiple by 0 0.35 so we have found a total volume of mortar 2000 sorry 291.67 cubic feet that is our 
total volume and its dry volume its dry volume 35 percent is dry volume here dry motor so now we can easily calculate that our cement is volume of mortar into one I mean eight this one and total one in one plus five six then we have found our cement and here is our cement in bag so uh, we know that one safety sorry uh, one bag cement equal to one bag or 50 kg Fifty kg cement equal to one point two five CFT. CFT one point two five CFT equal to fifty kg or fifty kg cement or one bag cement according to our country. That's why I have divided the cement volume forty eight point six one on feet cube by one point two five feet cube then I have found our bags these are bags so 38.9 bags cement are required for our brick work or uh, at our given volume and uh, here sand similarly sand is a uh, VM volume of mortar into ratio of sand Five by total ratio five plus one so that is our sand so we record that amount of sand that amount of cement and here that amount of brick work so I think you have understood about that and uh, if you think that it is clear to you press the like button so that I can understand that was really clear for you otherwise if you have any problem you can comment me below I will try to cover uh, I'll try to solve uh, solve the problem how much I can so thank you thank you very much S12 stay connected till next video